my first video in the Mommy Must Have series is going to be about beauty. And I just have a few products that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, first, I'll start with hair. The thing that I do is use a wet to dry straightener. And, whoops. I have the Remington wet to dry straightener. I got it at Walmart. I want to say it was like maybe $24 or something. Um, I did some research on it before I went and bought it and uh, I'll show it to you a little bit closer. It got great reviews online. People were saying that it's the only straightener they use. It's really good for your hair. It helps um, maintain the moisture in your hair. It makes your hair really soft. And I was a little skeptical because honestly I've tried to use the Chi on my hair when it's a little damp and it just looks a mess. But um, this is a lot different than the Chi because it's got these vent holes here and so um, when you run it along your hair when it's wet the steam comes out of the top so that's what's drying your hair is it's getting all the moisture out with the heat. I like this because you can lock it. I don't know it's not really that important but just so you know it fits wherever you're going to keep it. It fits in there better. Um, what else? It's got the plates on this are, I think it's about two inches, which is good because it gets a lot of your hair and you could do bigger sections quicker, which is important when you're in a hurry. Um, also, you can use it when your hair is dry. I don't because I have the G, but I, I'm, it works good, like if you're just doing a touch up. But uh, yeah, with that, you can use it when your hair is soaking wet, you put it on the highest heat setting. If your hair is just a little damp, you want to use a lower setting. But that can get your hair done in like 20 minutes and what I do is... I'll use the wet to dry straightener and then I'll kind of put it in a side ponytail and then twist the ends with some glossing cream or like any kind of uh, hair cream to prevent like frizz. Um, you know, you wait a while and you take your hair out of the ponytail and it's got the little twists at the ends and I like it. It's simple, it's easy, um, it's a lot faster than waiting for your hair to completely dry and using like a chi or any kind of, any kind of other expensive iron. Um, so that's the first thing. Um, also for hair, I am a huge, like, <laughs> that didn't make any sense. I'm a huge fan of dry shampoo. There we go. Got that out. Um, what I used to use um, is called Natura or Naturia. And you can get it at Sephora. It's like $23 a can. And it's amazing, but it's really expensive for what it is. And I've tried um, the Bumble and Bumble and also Salon Graphics um, would be the low end of that. The colored hair powder spray, but that's messy and like, you know, if it rains, you've got black or blonde, you know, colored powder running down your face. So a good alternative to um, the Naturia if you're on a budget is this Sammy. Um, Sammy Salon Systems Dry Shampoo with Oat Extracts. I got this at um, Ulta. It's seven dollars a can, I think, but it's a big can. Um, some people say it runs out really fast. I've gotten a couple bad cans where it does do that, or it'll get clogged, and no matter how much hot water you run over it, it's just not going to work anymore. But um, typically, you get a good one, and it lasts for a while. If your hair's a little greasy and you're in between shampoos. Um, which happens to me a lot, like up top gets re real greasy because with having my hair straightened all the time I always want to touch it, run my hands through it, it's just like a nervous habit. And then the grease from your hands or the oil from your hands gets in your hair and it weighs it down. So what you do is you take the dry shampoo and you spray it in the places where it may be greasy and it dries it up and it's amazing and you can go a little bit longer or if you get like a, a blowout at the salon, which I love to do when I have extra time and extra money. And then, you know, you're like, oh, if I wash my hair, my hair's not going to look like that anymore. You want to, like, go out at night, say, and, you you know, you don't want to have to restyle your hair all the way. But it's looking a little greasy. You just use the dry shampoo, and you're good to go. Um, let's see. This is also for hair, but it's kind of for your face, too. You can use it for whichever. It's from Jonathan, which is kind of a high-end um, line. But this is a small size. I don't think this was very expensive. I don't even remember. It's been a while since I got it, but it was under $10. And it's called Redo Freshen Up Mist for Hair and Skin. Um, it's 100% vegan, if that's important to you. You kind of spray it on your face, or you can spray it on your hair, just so you need to like feel refreshed. I keep it in my purse, 
And you know, if you've had a long day out with the baby at the park, or you've been at work all day and you're just feeling a little, you know, run down, not very fresh, <laughs> you can um, spray this on your face. It smells great. I think it's got maybe rose. It's infused with rose or something. Gardenia. And it smells really good and um, definitely something to keep in your purse. I got this at Sephora, like I said. Okay, moving on from hair, I'm going to share with you some of my makeup tips to make your morning routine a little quicker. Things you want to keep uh, stashed in your purse through. <laughs> Things you want to keep stashed in your purse for throughout the day. Ugh. Okay, first, every busy girl or busy mom needs a good chapstick. Um, you don't want to be messing around with lip gloss if the baby's going to touch your face and it's going to get stickiness everywhere. You don't want to do a lipstick so you need to pull out a mirror and make sure you don't get it on your teeth. Um, what I love is this Burt's Bees um, Beeswax Lip Balm. This is at like Walgreens or Walmart. Um, it's only a couple bucks. And it's just like a cooling, refreshing little lip balm. I use it underneath lip gloss sometimes just to get like a smooth base before I put on a lip gloss. Also something I found, I found this at Ulta, but it's Jane brand, so I know they sell Jane at Walmart and places like that. It's called the Be Pure Mineral Lip Balm, and it's a really pretty color. It's called White Pearl, and it's real shimmery. It's like a very light pink. Um, it looks good on my skin tone, I feel, um, but it's kind of like a nude with just like a, like a rosy shimmer on it. And I'm pretty sure it would work good on um, a lot of skin tones. But that's real easy. It's got a little tint to it. You just slap it on your lips and instantly wakes up your face. Um, okay, also, I talked about this in my last video, the Bare Minerals. Um, I got the kit here. I got the kit at Ulta. It was $60. Mm, not sure where else they sell it, but I know they actual, actually have Bare Minerals stores. So um, I'm sure they'll do your makeup there for you and everything. But um, yeah, it comes with, uh, I'll just show you on the back of the box here instead of having to pull everything out of my makeup case. But it comes with the two foundations, a lighter shade and a darker shade. You know, you, your face doesn't always stay the same shade. In the summer you might be darker, or vice versa in the winter. It comes with the mineral veil, which is kind of like a setting powder. It sets your um, the foundation and also works if you have oily skin it will camouflage the oil it comes with a bronzer which I never used until I got this kit but I like it um, it adds like a warm glow to your face um, and it also comes with a blush I really love this blush color that comes in here um, also comes with the handy kabuki brush for your foundation it comes with the tapered brush the flawless application brush it's called and that's what I use for my mineral veil or if you want more of a light coverage with your foundation and it also comes with a concealer brush it's very quick to do in the morning it gives you all the steps right there in the box you know you put on your concealer you slap on the mineral foundation add some bronzer if you want and some blush do your eye makeup and you're good so that's typically what I use on a day-to-day -day basis that's what I'm wearing right now but that's it for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.